Hey there guys, how you doing? As you can see, I'm back here at the Regal Pinnacle 18th Theater. I just got out of seeing Shazam! Fury of the Gods, the latest movie in the DCEU, and it's once again directed by David F. Sandberg as we follow Billy Batson doing Shazam stuff, essentially. And there's three new villains as well. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I really enjoy the first Shazam movie. I think it's a lot of fun, has a lot of heart. And I really love like the family dynamic in that one. And I'll say in Fury of the Gods, we definitely get a lot of that family dynamic that we really enjoyed from the previous installment. And I think it really carried the movie. Um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of like sweet moments, and there's even some like funny moments in there too with the with the family. And I think the visual effects here looked pretty solid. Like the movie cost only a, a hundred like it only cost like a hundred million dollars, something like that. And it looked as budget. I thought it looked. That looked really well. Like I said, I think the family dynamic of this movie carried it, carried it pretty far, just because the rest of the movie is just kind of eh. It, it, they don't really do a whole lot with, they don't really do a whole lot like fresh or interesting like what the first movie did. It, it just kind of feels like a repeat of that, but it just doesn't have that same punch if that makes any sense. And like, there's definitely some jokes that land, but there's also quite a bit that just kind of had me roll my eyes a little bit didn't really land for me as as i was hoping and i thought the villains here were pretty weak i, re I really enjoyed the actresses who played them but i just thought their characters as a whole it just didn't really interest me all that much but i mean as as a shazam movie i think it's pretty solid i mean if you know what you're gonna get into i'd say shazam fury of the gods is worth a watch i know the dc universe is kind of in shambles right now just with everything going on behind the scenes so it's like do i really want to watch this because like there's i don't think it's really gonna matter like later on like i'd still say it's worth watching if you enjoy the first movie if, if you're a person who didn't like that first movie i'd say this is easily easily a skip just, I'm, I'm just saying like there's there's like a lot of silly humor and stuff like that i mean I, i'm just saying if you didn't like the first movie then it, you're probably not going to be won over by this but and then there's also a couple a couple post credit scenes in here too I'm not gonna lie both of them are pretty lame so i'd say they're not worth sticking around but the movie as a whole i'd say is pretty enjoyable if if you go in with a certain expectation like i i don't i don't know if we're gonna see this version of shazam or the shazam family in the later dc movies considering that the whole universe is getting rebooted but as a whole, it's a solid movie. Uh, if I were to give it a rating, as of right now, I think I'm going to give it a B minus. Uh, not quite as good as the first movie, but the family dynamic does carry it pretty far. So, what do you guys think of Shazam for you, the gods? Did you like it? Did you not? Did, did you have you not seen it yet, or you're not going to? You're just kind of waiting for the Flash and the and the other DC movies to go see instead of this. Well, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. And with that, all that said. Hope you all enjoyed the video, short reaction, if you want to call it, and I'll see you all on the next one.